Today's morning devotional. What matchless love! For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit, that we are the children of God. Romans chapter 8 verses 15 and 16. While the law of God is maintained, and its justice vindicated, the sinner can be pardoned. The dearest gift that heaven itself had to bestow has been poured out that God might be just, and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. By that gift men are uplifted from the ruin and degradation of sin to become children of God. Says Paul, Ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. With the beloved John the first call upon you to, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. What love, what matchless love, that, sinners and aliens as we are, we may be brought back to God and adopted into his family. We may address him by the endearing name, our Father, which is a sign of our affection for him and a pledge of his tender regard and relationship to us. And the Son of God, beholding the heirs of grace, is not ashamed to call them brethren. They have even a more sacred relationship to God than have the angels who have never fallen. All the paternal love which has come down from generation to generation through the channel of human hearts, all the springs of tenderness which have opened the souls of men, are but as a tiny rill to the boundless ocean when compared with the infinite, exhaustless love of God. Tongue cannot utter it, pen cannot portray it. You may meditate upon it every day of your life, you may search the scriptures diligently in order to understand it, you may summon every power and capability that God has given you, in the endeavor to comprehend the love and compassion of the Heavenly Father, and yet there is an infinity beyond. You may study that love for ages, yet you can never fully comprehend the length and breadth, the depth and the height of the love of God in giving his son to die for the world. Eternity itself can never fully reveal it. Yet as we study the Bible and meditate upon the life of Christ and the plan of redemption, these great themes will open to our understanding more and more. And it will be ours to realize the blessing which Paul desired for the Ephesian church when he prayed, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us ward who believe, Ephesians. Chapter 1 verses 17 to 19.